What's up you guys? Welcome to this episode of Doing Stuff with Hopper. The episode where we do stuff with yours truly, and that would be Hopper. All right, so today we're gonna go to Kremling and hit up the Sidewinder Trail. Super fun trail. I'm just airing down my tires right now before we head out and um, trying to run about three PSI or so. So that's what I'm working on now. So here we are. We're airing down our tires. Shh. We're airing down. We don't want to make any noise and alert the neighbors of what we're doing. But uh... Oh my gosh! Everyone knows what's happening now! So for those of you who don't know how to air down tires because you like drive Subarus or, or you know, Teslas or something lame like that, I've got my ARB tire deflator. You can see I'm sitting about 20 PSI. You screw this on like so, and then this guy unscrews the valve stem, and we got all ready to go. Woo! Mint. Yeah, I'm gonna try and demonstrate uh, what squishy 3 PSI tires look like and why they're ideal for off-roading. See, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Just sucks that right up. Envelops it in a warm cocoon of rubber. <laughs>
you guys. So I'm here at the plant. Whew. Right above our outfall on the Fraser River. Got a little thermometer here. Um, trying to temp the waters. It's a beautiful little stretch. There's a fishing beach, several fishing beats downstream that are run by the Hackstaff family out of Denver. And I had a conversation with somebody fishing one of the beats earlier in the week. And he, uh, he apparently didn't know anything about uh, water stream temperature standards, when you should fish, fish when you shouldn't, things like that. Um, even though he was covered in Patagonia stickers and whatnot. But we're gonna check the water temperature here. They say you're not supposed to fish if the water's above 67 degrees. And the reason for that is because water above that temperature does not hold oxygen in suspension very well. So warmer water gets rid of dissolved oxygen kind of like i don't know if you've ever noticed but when you have a soda pop and it's warm it's super fizzy whereas if you get like a really 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 cold soda pop it's not as fizzy well that's because um the warmer it is the faster it re releases the carbonation the gases inside the liquid so what do we got here i don't know if you can see that 72.6 degrees that's really freaking bad and uh yeah sad state of affairs for our headwaters up here in colorado um all this water or lack thereof is a result of denver water and their upstream diversions on the fraser from here it flows on down and is uh, removed from our county through northern waters trans mountain diversions so, really freaking warm, not healthy at all. You guys better not be out there fishing, and if you are, better be first thing in the morning, you better be temping the water, because those poor little trouts, they're not gonna survive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Doing Stuff Like Hopper, and as always, I will see you around like a donut. <laughs>